Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Our in-studio audience here in the Honda studio in Miami giving a round of applause to our guest who is giving himself a round of applause because he's the hungriest player of the year for the 2019 NFL season as announced by our friends at Snickers. He is Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Gardner Minshew. How are you Gardner? Rich I'm good, good man. To Glad to be here. Good to have you here in Heck the flesh. Yeah. It's not bad. huh? You, you got it. Um, What's it like to be Gardner Minshew in Miami, Florida during Super Bowl week? Dude, it's uh, it's not bad. You know, it's my first time to ever come to like a Super Bowl or anything. Uh -huh. You know, getting to meet a lot of cool people. Just talk to freaking Barry Sanders. Like, <laughs> you know, you don't get to do that every day. Yeah. Um, so, I, like, it, it's it's a really cool experience. Yeah, who have you met? Who have you met at the Super Bowl other than just here? Yeah, that, so I've York? only been you know, kind of going around this morning. But Barry, uh, I met Boomer Esiason, um, Carson Palmer, Greg Jennings, James Jones, a lot of. You know, former guys, it's yeah. really cool to get to you know, see them for so long and then finally get to meet them. But who's in your posse? Like, who's in your world? Like, your, your, are your friends? You're hanging with your friends? Oh, I mean, no, I'm, you I'm lone wolfing right now. Um, You're lone wolfing? Yeah, no, I got a couple buddies coming down. I'm working, man. I'm working. So did you get here in the RV? No, unfortunately, I had to turn in the RV yesterday. What, it, it's what happened? It was just a month deal, you know, with travel camp in Jacksonville. It was a month deal. A month is up, you know, and... So did you travel the country in the RV? Oh, did yeah. You do that? So it took off from Jacksonville to Mississippi, through Texas, duck hunted, went to Austin, worked out in Permian High School from Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. Went up to Telluride. Did you see Booby? Did you see uh, Booby no, Miles? I wish, you see dude, I wish. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, went to Telluride, Colorado. Incredible place. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, to Las Vegas, where I got to fly with the Air Force Thunderbirds, which is like now, just incredible life experience. Let's pause here. Yeah. Did you pass out? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they, yeah, they messed me up. Yeah. So walk me through that process. How did that work, Gardner? Yeah. So you so, got into uh, what'd you get into? You got into a, a one of the Thunderbirds, or what'd you yeah. Got into? So it's uh, an F-16. Okay. Um, and like you go in in the morning, it's like five hours of prep work. They're telling you what happens, like if the plane plane crashes, how to pull your parachute. I'm like, I don't want to know this. <laughs> like, this isn't like dude, let's just not talk about this. But then we go up, and um, right. it, was, it was absolutely incredible over Las Vegas and then Death Valley and do all their tricks and stuff, and they just, just wear me out. So you passed out. You oh, definitely, yeah. you've, you, and then you come to, and you... Oh, yeah, I came to. I was like, yeah, I'm in a plane. All right, we're good. <laughs> and then I flew the plane after that, and that was incredible. Well, hold on a second. Yes. What do you, what do you mean you flew the plane? I flew the plane. Like, I, I took us on, like, barrel rolls, and, like, it was unreal. Like, an absolute, like... Just an experience like you just don't get to do. That. Are it's you incredible. A, are you a trained pilot? Damn near, basically, <laughs> you know. I, well, I mean, you know, um, so you're in this plane and they're like, okay, you've got the controls, Gardner Minshew. Yeah. That's what happened. Take over. I got the thruster right here. I got the stick, and that's that's all you really need to know. And now, what you what else did you do in Las Vegas, Nevada? Um, yeah, just hung out, went to a couple shows, had a few of my buddies with me. So, um, what shows did you see? Uh, Absent at the Caesar's Palace. It was uh, it was awesome. Okay, yeah, it was a blast. Did you did you uh, go to the Blue Man Group or anything like that? No, or? so we okay. only had two nights. You know, the road trip. We were kind of you know we were okay. moving, so we had two nights. Because I bet you could make a ton of money for charity to say a. A weekend with Gardner Minshew in Las Vegas, Nevada. You could, yeah. yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, have you? I mean, I guess I, if I had to go to Las Vegas, I would. Yeah, right. You twist know? your arm. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, for a good cause. Now, obviously, sure. you know, uh, your draft was not in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was last year, and you were a sixth round draft choice. Did you see what the NFL is planning to do for the draft this year yeah, in Las doing Vegas? Doing like out front of the Bellagio, right? They're, they're gonna boat people up. They're gonna. <laughs> that is crazy. Now. There are, Chris, are there in, in, in any town like, say, Las Vegas, Nevada? Yes. There is a place where you could wager as to who would actually wind up in the water, correct? Yeah, correct. Ooh, I'm sure. Would you have, if you had gotten drafted in Las Vegas, Nevada, jumped in the water? And would you do that in the Bellagio Fountains? Garden I probably would have, like, walked up there, like, took my picture, and then swam off, you know? <laughs> um, you so, know swam off the stage. You're like, you don't want to be wet when you get up there. You swim off and you're good. Yeah. Now that's next level. You know, you're, just for, for that's like stuff. So you would you would have taken the conventional boat ride. Yes. You would have accepted the and honor. Then everybody's of being like, drafted. wow, he's selling out. He's boring. And then no, he swims off. And, <laughs> yeah. and how would you have gotten in the water? How would you get in the water? Would you? Um, depends how deep it is. If it's deep enough, I dive. If not, I cannonball. Can I just I, doggy paddle out? I think a doggy, a cannonball Gardner Minshew doggy paddle is the greatest way that you could ever get drafted into the National There's Football There's no doubt League. about it. All right. 
And then do you do you have a game of chance? Do you do you go to the Dude, casino? Or? I played craps for about four hours and I still have no clue like what's going on. <laughs> like I wa we walked out even, but like I got no clue what's going on in that game. Right. But I got hot. Uh, I was. But I was you knew you them. got hot. Yeah, I was hot. So. And then you walk away. I, yeah. yeah. I got you got to walk away up, Gardner. That's the idea. We never got up. We went, we went down, down. <laughs> we went down and got to even, so we're happy with even. It's yeah. fair. It's fair. Even Gardner, is a win. Gardner Minshew here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. All right, so now you've got some bling to your right right there right. on the right, uh, right hand part of the chair. Mm. That is, this, that, is that what you get for winning the Snickers Hungriest Player of the Year? Yeah, award? so I win Hungriest Player, um, get this chain. It's $75,000. Okay. And uh, it's actually going to be auctioned off. Uh, and the fall, and the proceeds are going to go to Movember, okay. which is a cause I'm tied to. It's a great cause, you know, just men's health awareness, uh, mental health, stuff that, like, you know, macho guys, like, you don't want to talk about, right. but it's stuff that needs to be talked about. Of course. And, um, so just kind of bringing attention to that. Certainly when you get to a, a, a certain age, men can't be shy about checking their bodies for, for cancer and prostate cancer and exactly. colon cancer. I mean, Just it's the whole idea of just asking for help. You know, Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. That's great. So, so the Movember movement is going to get the auction off of Gardner Minshew's. What do we know? What the what diamonds there are in there? What do I don't we know. know, what I, know this it, I know it's valued at uh, seventy-five thousand. So that's a gold it, chain. It's real, real. It yeah. is. Yeah, it's it is, heavy. That is real. That's why you, it's the reason Man. I have it on my neck. Yeah. Oh my gosh! This yeah. is you could <laughs> swing this deal. around like a nunchuck yeah. and really hurt somebody. Yeah. Wow, no, that it, is it, significant. It's, it's beautiful. These are like this is diamond encrusted. Oh yeah. There you go. Very good. When you're when you're not feeling yourself, right? You go and have a Snickers. Yes, sir. Hungriest player of the year. Um, and what, well, speaking of uh, uh, your year, uh, did you? I mean, what a year it was. You, you look back on the year and you would think what about what you went through or what you did, what you accomplished, how you handled your business in Jacksonville. What is that? Yeah. How would you look I, at that? First thing is just blessed, man. Just having the opportunity. You know, I think in the path I took. There's a lot of times where it didn't look like I'd ever come close to that. Um, but I think that all prepared me for this year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was a big reason why uh, we had the success that we had at times. And um, what do you think about next year? Are you planning on being the backup going in? Have you been told by your coach what the plan is for 2020 just yet? Yeah, uh, my plan is to compete and to prove that I'm the guy, you know, for the job every day. Um, but I know the, guy, the type of guy Nick is. We've, we've talked. We had lunch the other day. And we're just excited to get back to work together. I want the best for him. He wants the best for me. We're both going to work really hard and just try to make our team better. Where did you have lunch? Where did that go? Out down? of Newport. So took the RV out there. You know. So, we were so out. was that the finishing point for your yeah, RV Yeah, before we tour? turned around and came back. Yeah. You came back in the RV? Yeah. <laughs> Is it because you had to return it to the spot yeah. you rented it? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> So put about, put about 7,500 miles wow. on it. 7,500 yeah. miles. We're moving. In you, about 17 days. And then you went straight back uh, to where? Here in Florida? Is that where you started? or where so did you Yeah, start? I went to, we dropped it off in Jacksonville. Jacksonville. And then drove down here today. Okay. Yesterday. And drove down here yeah. today. Okay. Um, a few more things for you here, Gardner. Um, speaking of mustaches, and obviously you've got a famed mustache, we could not help but notice on your uh, social media account and your Instagram, mm. Uh, first Minshew mustache for sale. While going through some old belongings, I stumbled upon an artifact long forgotten. What I found was the first mustache I ever grew in mint condition, no less. It's dated from uh, September 3rd, 2017 to October the 10th, 2017. You can get a piece, uh, get your hands on this piece of history for the low, low price of $1 million. All proceeds will go to the human fund. <laughs> Serious inquiries only. Very serious. And did you get any uh, any um, inquiries on this? Yeah, Gardner? still still fielding offers. Um, I know what I have, so I'm not in a rush to, to give it away. Uh huh. Um, so we're waiting. You know, the the seven digit offers they've been piling in. So yes. just the the price is going through the roof. It goes. So you met you act now is essentially what we're saying. Yeah, you you ought to. Um, but yeah, the Human Fund is very excited about the uh, donation they're about to receive. <laughs> Who did you reach out at the Human Fund to connect with them? Uh, this is my buddy George. Um, <laughs> Stanza. 
Yeah. So he, uh, the assist, you're friends with the assistant to the general manager of the New York Yankees, is what you yes, say. Yes, that's right. Wow. He, um, you must. You meet a yeah, lot of people. So he, uh, you know, last Christmas I got, you know, he donated in my name to the Human Fund. Yes. It just, I, I know what kind of guy he is. Just such a good cause. Yeah, so. it's a great cause. There's yeah. no doubt about that. And money for people. We didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even mention for the radio audience that that is a plastic bag in the lower <laughs> right hand corner of what is mustache clippings, correct? It is. It's 100% it's, pure American mustache. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only kind I want. No cloning allowed. So there you go, no cloning allowed. There it is in the lower right. Um, so what other old belongings did you find while, while, while rummaging through and finding this plastic bag? Um, obviously nothing as noteworthy as the first mustache. Okay. Um, but I find all kinds of stuff, man. I got too much stuff. Yeah, any, that's, any, that's an issue. What's the oldest pair of jorts that you own? Oh, I only have, I only ever have one pair of jorts at a time. So, like, whenever I get a new, like, I'll get a new pair every few years, and the old ones are done. So, where do you do you hang them in the rafters somewhere? I mean, where do you put the old ones? Do you retire um, them? So, I, honestly, I, I'm not sure where they went. Dude, <laughs> you've got to, you've got to hold that's on. That's a good point. You've got to. If, From when now you, on, I'll keep my jorts. I mean, if you're going to keep your clippings, I mean. Cali. That's just... You could sell the shorts to the human fund. Yeah. You could do that too, man. Um, and so uh, when, when it all uh, does come down to it, um, when you've got your, your, your jorts all handled and you've got your business all handled and you've got everything all set, what's next, man? Yeah, so... Um, what's you know, next? What's next for you? No, Monday, I'll uh, move down to Naples. I'll drive over, and okay. uh, from then it's full-time training. Full-time training. The next two and a half months, that's, uh, that's all I'm worried about. Trying to get myself better so we have a chance to win. Okay. And that's that's all it's about for me. And you're from the state of Mississippi, that's correct? Right. That's where you're from. Uh, and your old college coach, Mike Leach, right. is now the coach at Mississippi State. How will Mike Leach fare in the state of Mississippi, do you yeah. feel, Gardner? So I was actually, the RV did make a stop in Starkville to okay. see Coach Leach. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I've always said, like, Mississippi State and Ole Miss, they have to do something different. Like, you're not going to line up and beat Alabama heads up. You're not going to line up and beat LSU heads up. You got to do something different. I personally always thought the air raid would be a great fit. Mm -hmm. And um, I think when he really gets his guys in there and, you know, has everybody bought in, I think he can do, you know, really good things. Did you see how he came off the plane with the, the cowbell? Yeah. The he form wasn't great. It was... It, it not was, natural. Yeah, it's just like somebody had to hand it to him on the on the plane and just... Do you think he looked at it and goes, what, what are you handing me this Absolutely. for? Absolutely. <laughs> he had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's there's no chance he knew right? what that was. That's what before. it looked like to me. Yeah, you know, because it had nothing to pertain with what he's doing at Washington I mean, State. Look so. at him right there. It's just that's not. Yeah. What, what do you think? I mean, he's just walking just down. Just so confused right there. <laughs> just, just wondering. He had no clue where to go. That's, he did look like totally confused yeah. by that whole thing. No, I'm happy for him though, man. I think him and his, their staff, awesome people. Okay. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna tear it up. Gardner Minshew, you are a uh, you're a national treasure, sir. Already, uh, great first season in the pros. It was just a blast to watch you. you do it. And um, don't be a stranger. When you yeah, come out to Los Angeles, down. come by, come by our set. You always got a home there. Yeah. That was actually my first time in California. So I'll is that right? Good. Yeah. No kidding. I'm from Mississippi, dude. We don't, we don't get out there. So wait a minute. But there was no road games in California when you played Washington, in Washington uh, State. I mean, we just to play. Yeah. So we played at USC, played at Oakland, but didn't really get to. to enjoy the environment around, yeah. to just soak around and see watch. what everybody pays so much money to live <laughs> yes, in. Yeah. that's right yeah you, you're so, living in a tax-free state yeah, right not bad. <laughs> not exactly not bad Gardner Minshew uh, you can again check out what Snickers is working on next by watching their new commercial during the Super Bowl or on their YouTube page and again congrats again on being the hungriest player of the year for 2019 Rich, appreciate you. Gardner Minshew everybody here on the Rich Eisen show don't go anywhere. Saquon Barkley and Kurt Warner still to come. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.